Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Mario. I'm an apostolic Pentecostal. And if you're joining me tonight, you are I've come just in time for the Spirit Scripted Saturday. And in today's segment, it's completely uncut, raw. Um, and I'm just going to let the Spirit speak on a thought that He's laid on my heart. And tonight, He wanted me to speak about um, this popular saying. You've probably seen it, whether it be on some guy's shirt or maybe a bumper sticker, but it's this, no God, no love. No God, no love. I remember when I first saw this, I'm pretty sure I saw it on a bumper sticker, and I remember the middle two letters really stuck out to me because it was bold red, and it said, no God, no love. And I said, wow, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. What else is new? But then I looked at it again, and I said, wait a minute, there's more. No God, no love. I really started thinking about my personal testimony. See, I think when I first saw this, I had already come back to church. See, I was a very much a, a prodigal son that, who, you know, blew all his inheritance on trying everything the world had to offer and came up empty handed. But I started thinking about, wow, during that time when I didn't know God, there was basically no God in my life. I didn't know love. I desperately tried looking for it, whether it was in really bad relationships or it was trying, again, things of this world and being in places I shouldn't have and putting things in my body that I shouldn't have been putting there. I was trying desperately to find it. But when I came back to God and I started knowing who God was by digging into his word, by having my faith increase because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God, I was able to know more of God. Just like you and I, if we have a biography report on someone famous, we would go to the books, we'd go to the internet and we would start researching and learning about them. It's the exact same thing with God. If we want to know more of God, we have to start reading where he's to be found and that's in the word and where that famous no god no love comes from it comes from first john 4 8 which says anyone who does not love does not know god because god is love see if you truly want to know what love is you've got to know god because if you look for love in humans we're always going to be really disappointed see Unlike God, human's love can be very sporadic. It can be very up and down. It can be like the stock market. There are good days and there are really bad days. Because one day I can love you like a brother and then you become my enemy and I'm forced to love you. But I can tell you right now, the love probably won't be the same. But see, God's love is constant. See, God loves us so much that he gave his life. He came down to die on the cross for us so you and I would have an opportunity to join him in heaven one day and he gave us a plan of salvation for us to follow and I started thinking wow well once I started knowing who God was again I started knowing what love was I realized my relationship with my family got better my relationship with my co-workers got better my friends and even the beautiful girlfriend that I have now is all due to the fact that I know who God is. And even with my friends and family who don't believe or choose not to believe or whatever, I find myself still loving them even more than I did before I didn't have God. Because God gave us a new commandment in John 13, 34. that you love one another just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. See, I can't look at people the same anymore. I just look straight at their souls. And if they're suffering, the only thing I can think about is, man, brother, sister, I've been where you've been. I remember looking for love in all the wrong places. But just like it says in scripture, once you know who God is, you know what love is. 
you know the exact love that He offers to us for free, and you're able to put that out into your relationships, and ultimately you're able to just have a, a peace in your heart that simply this world can't offer. No boyfriend, no girlfriend, no husband, wife, uh, no dog, nothing, nothing in this world can offer the same love that God gives you. So, man, uh, that's all I've got. That's what I think the Spirit really wants me to uh, uh, speak about. So, anyways, uh, thank you all so much for joining me on this Spirit Scripted Saturday. My name is Brother Mario. God bless you. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Definitely want to know what you all got out of it. But most importantly, share this message. Share it with your best friend. Put it on your Facebook. Slap it on your Instagram. Doesn't even matter. We're trying to get this message out. And hey, don't let your blessing streak in. Check out some of these other videos we got here. Hey, love you all so much. Gotta go. Bye-bye.